In this guide, as you can see, you're going to learn how to download and install the Light and Marika, and I really hope that's how you pronounce it because I looked it up before starting this video. The Light and Marika mod for Minecraft 1.19.2. So make sure you watch this video until the end so you learn how to do this. And yeah, let's get started. And just before we get started with the step by step tutorial, let me tell you real quick about Apex hosting if you need a Minecraft server. It doesn't matter if it's regular, vanilla Minecraft, if it's Java, Bedrock, whatever type of server, modded, non modded, you could use Apex hosting and get 25% off right now if you sign up with Apex hosting. Now, besides Besides all the amazing advantages that Apex Hosting provides you with, something that I personally love running my Bedrock server with them is that you could actually access the server console through your phone, which I think it's amazing. You could access the server console and throw your friends and change the settings even if you're away from home. So if you want 25% off with Apex Hosting, first link in the description, let's get started. And actually the first step is quite simple. Just open your Minecraft launcher. This is very important and I'm starting to add this step in every tutorial because some people have been getting some problems due to them not doing this. So open your Minecraft launcher, as you can see, I have it right here. Make sure that you select latest release which is 1.19.2 well in this case is 1.19.2 maybe when you're watching this video it's a new one and you just want to install 1.19.2 so find 1.19.2 and make sure you click on play let the game load until you hit the main menu i'm going to wait for that to appear and hit the main menu as you can see the game open it's already in the main menu and what you're going to do now is just quit the game this is a very important step that we do because we're going to install fabric in order to run the light matica mod so we're going to need to do that so once you've done that go ahead and click on the second link in the description which will bring you to of course a written guide on how to download the Light and Marika mod and I really hope that's how you pronounce it. I looked it up on Google Translate earlier and yeah, I hope that's how you say it. Light and Marika. Go ahead and come over here, scroll down. If you want to read through the guide, feel free to do so and look at the screenshots. But the main thing here is to click on the button that says download Light and Marika. Go ahead and click on this big button. And it's going to redirect over here where we're just going to wait until it loads and then we're going to scroll down until we find the desired game version. In this tutorial, we're installing 1.19.2. As you can see, it's right here and it says fabric. Keep in mind that we're going to need fabric and I'm going to show you how to get fabric just in a moment. Once you find the game version, go ahead and click on download file. That is going to redirect over here where in five seconds, the download will start automatically. Just wait five seconds. In my case, it's going to ask me, as you see right here, it's asking me where I want to save this file. But for you, it's just going to download. Once you have the file down here, if you're using Chrome, go ahead and drop it into your desktop. If that was too fast, go ahead and rewatch it. Feel free to do so. Now we have Light America. Now here's the thing. In order to run this mod, we're going to need something called Malilip. I, I don't know if that's how you say it. Malilip. My light lip. I don't know how, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know how to pronounce. And even Lida Marika says it themselves. You need this required mod. It's a library mod required. So, yeah, go ahead and click on the third link in the description, which will bring you over here to our reading guide on how to download this library for mods. Again, here you can look through the tutorial and read through it. But the main thing here is to click where it says download my light lip. Is that how you say it? If I'm saying it wrong, let me know down in the comments. Once it brings you over here to the download website, go ahead and scroll down. The same thing as with the Light of Marika mod, look for 1.19.2, which is the one for this tutorial, and click download file. That is going to start the download in five seconds. Just wait five seconds. Make sure you click on the fabric version. It says right there next to it. Just wait for that to download. Again, it's asking me where I want to save it. For you, it's probably going to download automatically. Now we have Malilib and Light of Marika. These are the funniest names ever. I'm sorry, guys. You already know my channel is all about bad pronunciations but you get the point anyways now we have the mod the light and Marika mod and we have mod loader for this mod so what do we need well we actually need fabric if you already have fabric go ahead and drag and drop these mods into the mods folder using the fabric if you already have fabric i assume that you already know how to do this but most of you do not have fabric let me show you how to get it in a second go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description for this video what did i just open over here i'm sorry okay go ahead and click on the fourth link in the description of this video which will bring you over here to our written guide how to download and install fabric mod loader in here you can read through the guide amazing guide with tutorials and everything on our website guys are incredible but the main thing here is to click where it says download fabric loader that is going to redirect you over here where you're going to click download universal jar okay this little blue line in here don't click download for windows download universal jar that is going to start the download as you can see in my case it asked me but for you it's probably going to download once you have the fabric installer go ahead and drop it into here and you already know when you install well most of you probably don't know this, but when you install Fabric, it also requires you to have a Fabric mod loader for most of Fabric mods to work. So yeah, we're going to download the mod loader as well. And I promise you, that's the last thing you need to download. Go ahead and click on the first link in the description, which will bring you to, of course, our written guide on how to download the Fabric API, which is the, the Fabric API that we need to run like 90% of the mods. In here, you're going to click Download Fabric API here. Well, once you click on the button, it's going to redirect you over here, where we're going to look for the 1.19.2. Remember, we need to have the same game versions for all the mods because 
If not, then it's just going to crash. Once we find 1.19.2, go ahead and click on download file. And that is going to, of course, redirect over here where in five seconds, the download will start. Now, while the file is downloading, let me tell you something. If by any moment of this tutorial, when you're done installing everything, you get a problem, you get an issue saying something about your Java, that means that you need to update your Java. I'm not going to show you how to do that here because it might take longer, but I know that like five or 10% of you will have an outdated Java and Micro 1.16.5 and above will require you to have Java 7 things or Java 8 things. I'm going to leave the links for the guides in the description for Java 8 things and to run a jar fix. Those things might help you solve your issues if you have any issues installing everything that we're about to install. Anyways, once we got everything downloaded, right? The Fabric API, the Fabric Mode Loader, the Malilip Fabric, I, uh, that's just so funny, the Malilip Library, right? And then the Light Amatica. We could close out from the browsers. Don't close this video because you're watching me and you don't want to lose me. Now in here, let's just start working. We already opened Minecraft at the beginning of this tutorial, which makes it amazing because that means we don't have to do it now. In here, what we're going to do, we're going to double click the Fabric Installer. This little thing in here, go ahead and double click on it. That is going to open the Fabric Installation menu. Of course, we're going to select 1.19.2. We're going to leave it in client because we're not running a server right now and we're just going to click install. Wait for that to finish installing. It should be quite fast. As you can see right here, Fabric Loader has been installed. Go ahead and click on OK and you could close out from the installer now and you could even delete the Fabric Installer. We're done installing Fabric. That's it. Now go ahead and launch your Minecraft Launcher again. Go ahead and open it because remember, you had to close your Minecraft Launcher after you run it at the beginning. Once you open your Minecraft Launcher, if you install Fabric successfully, which is super simple, you should have the Fabric Loader in here. Again, if you had any issues trying to open those jar files, that means that you need to update Java. We have videos and guides on how to do that. Anyways, I'm assuming that most of you did this successfully. Once you're over here, you're going to click on installations and you're going to make sure that modded is selected because as you can see, if you don't select modded, you don't see the Fabric Loader in here. Once you see a Fabric Loader, go ahead and click on this little folder, which is going to open a bigger folder as you can see over here. By the way, if you don't see the Fabric Loader in here, just click on new installations and look for it here in the versions and then just click create. The name that you put here doesn't matter. Click create on the bottom right and you should see a Fabric Loader then. Most of us will see it and we have this little folder in here. We're going to open this folder, like I said, to the installations, click on the Fabric folder. And here we're going to look for another folder called mods, M-O-D-S. As you can see, we have it right here. But let's say that you come over here and you don't have it. I'm going to go ahead and delete mine. What do you do then? Just don't worry, click right click click new folder and type MODS mods. Yay. Now we have the mods folder and we created it ourselves. What we're going to do with this folder, we're going to open it and we're going to drag and drop all the files that we downloaded earlier. That's it. We downloaded everything. We drag it and drop it into the mods folder inside the fabric loader. And that's it guys. We could go back to actually the Minecraft launcher and click play on the fabric loader. Click that you understand the risk and just wait for this to open. And now you have Lightamatica running successfully because we installed every single API that we needed for this to work. So let's wait for this to open. Anyways, once Minecraft has open as you can see we now have the fabric modded down here as you can see right there and if we click on single player and we create a world or just join a world that you have by the way if you see that had the x-ray in there that's because i already have a video on how to add x-ray to 1.19.2 if you want to watch that watch that next it's probably going to come up at the end well i had the resource pack running for the x-ray for those of you that want to learn how to do it we have a video on that anyways guys now we're in the game and i have no idea i literally have no idea how you use the light of Matica or whatever so yeah you guys those things you're gonna have to figure it out yourself oh there you go i press M and this came up. I know there's a lot of things to do here. I'm pretty sure you guys know how to use this better than I do. But yeah, you already installed the mod. My part here is done. I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, bye bye.